Now, I'm going to cover step by step the different levels of Six Sigma. How many of you are ready now? Just type ready in the chat box and I'm going to go slowly and steadily from here. So far, if you found it useful, interesting, valuable, fantastic, awesome, whatever that you felt, please put in the chat box. I will draw inspiration from whatever that you put and uh, go deeper into the subject today. Applying Lean Six Sigma knowledge, let me go into the depth of it. Six Sigma is applied via control project and selection process. When leaders find issues, they usually ask expert to figure it out if fixing them is worth or not. You know, that's what uh, generally leaders do. How many of you agree with this? Just type agree in the chat box. For those who are here for the first time, you will notice that, you know, I engage people in a lot of chat because that's my style of uh, communication. Because uh, what I feel is uh, when you, I can't see you, I can't hear you, by just seeing the chat box, no? I feel, uh, you know, I'm with you. Great. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, that engagement. And sometimes I feel lost that uh, I don't feel that I'm in front of camera so many times. Okay. I feel how oh, I'm at, uh, at present around 800 people. Now, when leaders are looking forward for expert opinions to fix the problems, but if you use Six Sigma, Six Sigma teams can actually help you measure the extent of the problem and how to fix it and how much would be the cost to fix it. And um, they can also prioritize the problems because if you have the strategic objectives of the organization, the Six Sigma team will help you prioritize the problems to take which problems to take first, which projects to take first. Teams then work on important problems. The Six Sigma teams will work on important problem and check the progress regularly. So in this training, in this training, we will learn about how the teams find and fix problems using Six Sigma. Let's go a little deeper. I'll tell you the architecture, the levels of certification, a common sense question. What are the levels of certification that you know in Six Sigma? Please share in the chat box. Let me see. Well, I'll start with whatever that you know. What are the levels of certification? You have black belt, white belt, yellow belt and all that. Fantastic. Great. So I'll go deeper into each and every one of that. So possessing a Six Sigma certification proves that an individual has demonstrated the practical applications and knowledge of Six Sigma. How many of you want Lean Six Sigma certification? Type LSC in the chat box if you want Lean Sigma certification. A lot of you want uh, Lean Sigma certification. Great. So if you want certification, I'll just come to my upcoming session, register. Don't miss that webinar. It's there tomorrow, 8 p.m. And uh, same time, tomorrow, same time we will meet. I'll explain detail. So levels of certification. Now let's go slowly and steadily. So the Six Sigma certification levels actually show that a person knows and can use these tools and techniques of Six Sigma. You can get certified online or in person. I also uh, you know, train a lot of companies worldwide. And uh, different organizations adopt different ways to give certification. And it is always best to align to some international body and body of knowledge. And what I'm going to share when you stay till the end is this body of knowledge study guide. I will also share the presentations I've made uh, with this study guide as reference. I've covered each and every page on this study guide in the form of a presentation. So this is one of the most, once you cover all the 50 modules, you will have more than 1,000, 1,500 slides of presentations. That's the amount of knowledge that you will have. How many of you feel excited? Type X-I-T-E-D in the chat box if you are excited. And that's why, you know, if you want all these presentations, come to my upcoming session. I will share whatever that I have. I have hundreds of books and I share 
very liberally all the contents case studies because it is i mean we have not you know uh, innovated anything you know it's all belongs to others we have i've just curated everything and put it in the form of something which you can get value out of so there are different levels of certification and they are called by the color of the belt that you have dr michael harry did this fantastic job of this you know creating this belts and a structure to it first is white belt white belt is introductory level of knowledge all of you type i l in the chat box white belt is introductory level which just gives you some introductory level of knowledge then comes yellow belt so they can participate as a project team member and reviews process improvements so yellow belt has got good understanding of dmac methodology that methodology concept and they can participate as a project team member they can also and participate in the reviews also then what we will go up to is green belt level so we will take you now we will give you this introductory level of knowledge we will also give you that knowledge so that you can participate as a project team member and you can participate in all the reviews of process improvements and you can go to the level of leading some projects you can assist in data collection and analysis for black belts you can help black belts analyze things so i'll take you to this level and once you come to the inner circle of green belt i'll take you to black belt also black belt actually leads problem solving projects it leads problem solving projects trains and coaches project teams and also you can go up to the level of master black belt i'm actually the internationally international master coach international master black belt that i have and uh, i actually train master black belts and i actually mentor i have mentored over 200 projects till now okay i had the uh, i was fortunate enough to be across industries and mentor a lot of projects so you can train coaches how many of you want to become trainer coaches consultants type t c c trainer coaches consultant tanvi singh ruchi you want to become trainer coaches and consultants okay fine thank you very much so you can go up to the master black belt level now let me go a little bit deeper on each of these belts white belt and what do the signify so as i told you white belt is uh, the basic sigma but they are not a part of improvement teams okay they don't participate in so this training is good just to give uh, if they are non specialist staff and just to give an overview of a methodology and it also helps them understand and appreciate what these guys are doing or participate in the meeting sometimes and uh, it can also later on they'll find it easy when you go to the next step you find it easier so white belt training is very basic and not all six sigma professionals uh, consider white belt as a true certification so it's very very basic of white belt next is yellow belt so if white belt is clear type sc super clear in the chat box if white belt is clear great let me go to the yellow belt now let me go to the yellow belt now so yellow belt uh, is a step above the white belt is a step above the white belt it is still considered basic introduction to the concepts of six sigma yellow belt is also not very advanced okay it's also still most of the people consider but then the dmac methodology is something that they will get familiar in the yellow belt all of you type d m a i c in the chat box and those of you are new to this methodology you write in your notes d as in define m as in measure a as in analyze i as in improve and c as in control define measure analyze improve and control i'll repeat define measure analyze improve and control dmac methodology so concept uh, included in the yellow belt training generally is different rules of six sigma t 
team development and management, and some basic quality tools. What are the basic quality tools? You know, you have Pareto charts, run charts, scatter diagram, histograms, and all that. And then they will also learn about the metrics in Six Sigma, the common metrics that we use, how to collect data, data collection plan, and uh, there's something called as an MSA, measurement system analysis. Okay, that's also something uh, that they they learn and root cause analysis and just an introduction to what is called as hypothesis testing. Okay, not the advanced stage, but an introduction to hypothesis testing. If yellow belt is clear on a scale of one to 10, please give me a nine or 10 if yellow belt, this thing is clear. Because people generally ask this question, what is white belt, what is yellow belt? Can I directly go to green belt and all that? You can come to green belt directly because I teach first white belt, yellow belt, and then take you green belt. We don't sort of overlap and take. I take you from white belt till green belt level. I can give you all the three belts also, certifications also. But once you receive in karate, once you get a green belt, you don't need to wear a white belt and yellow belt. How many of you agree? Just type agree in the chat box. <laughs> if you know karate, in karate, in kung fu, if you get into green belt, you don't need to wear the white belt and yellow belt. <laughs> People ask me this question. Okay, I've done green belt. Will you also give me white belt and yellow belt certification? It's not required. All right. So in green belt, if you see, green belt are certified individuals who work in Six Sigma teams and they work under the guidance of black belts or master black belts. And uh, they can also lead small projects on their own. They have intermediate statistical analysis skills, okay, and can handle data analysis and concerns. They can assist the black belts in applying Six Sigma tools. This is very important. The green belts can assist black belts in applying Six Sigma tools. And uh, they could generally be in middle managers, business analysts, project managers. They can be in any such role and often seen as worker bees of Six Sigma. They go around and do a lot of work on Six Sigma. Okay, if green belt is clear, just give me a nine or 10 if it is super, super clear. I just wanted to, uh, some people who really want to, just a moment. I'll share a form and uh, some people really want to go up to certified lean coach. If you, if you really want to become coach consultants and the thing, uh, you can fill this form later. I really want to know why you want to become lean coach. I want you to, Pull this form and why you want to become a certified lean coach or consultant. You can have this form and you can fill it later because many of you were privately messaging me that, uh, you know, I want to become a coach like you and stuff like that. So I thought <clears throat> I will ask you this question. Why do you want to become a lean coach? You can fill this form later. And uh, this green belt also includes the following concepts. Whatever is an yellow belt that will be there. They also know what is called as FMEA. All of you type FMEA in the chat box. FMEA. FMEA is a methodology, failure modes and effects analysis. Failure modes and effects analysis, FMEA. So project management teams, uh, project and team management is something that uh, they'll be well-versed with. They'll get experience in managing projects. And... Uh, they will also have an understanding of probability. There's something called a central limit theorems, which is, uh, you know, heart of oh, the well-known distribution called normal distribution. And different statistical distribution, descriptive statistics, perform hypothesis testing. They will also go into Kaizen and lean tools. And then basic control charts uh, is something that they will learn. If the green belt is clear, just type nine or 10 if it is super, super clear. Now that I've told about white belt, yellow belt, now green belt, we will go into the great black belt here. So a certified black belt usually works on a project, works as a project leader on process improvement projects. Now I'll go a little slower. This is a little theoretical, but you have to understand black belt and master black belt, what is the difference? They work with management. 
Some people ask, I'm a business analyst, can be a black belt. You know, the knowledge of business analysis and business analysis tools will help you because black belt will give you that thinking, the direction of thinking towards problem solving. It will give you that framework, that methodology, and all your business analysis can help you in that methodology. So planning roles, strategy roles, analyst roles throughout the company. So you have to be a green belt. Without green belt, you cannot be a black belt. And in addition to what they have learned in green belt and yellow belt, there is some advanced project and team management skills. This is where the mindset, the team behavior comes, the behavioral skills comes. And there are a lot of deeper tools and techniques in Six Sigma, which they will come to know. And there are some advanced statistics, which they'll be knowing. And uh, there are some deeper tools of lean and TQM that they'll be learning. And uh, the ability to design process, DMA, DV, Six Sigma applications in design and strategy is something that they will be equipped with and uh, advanced capabilities for diagramming process. There are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, visual maps that you need to create. There's something called design of experiments, multivariate analysis, all that, you know, and they will be pro in using these software tools. I'm an actually expert in Minitab software I've been using for 10 years now. Uh, so, however, I don't know other software tools. So they'll be experts in doing this. How many of you want to become black belts? Type BB in the chat box. Let's see how many of you are ambitious to become black belts. How many of you want to become master black belts? Type MBB in the chat box. Let's see how many of you want to become master black belts. So what I do is after uh, green belt, you can equip yourself to black belt and master black belt. And I have a very flagship program called uh, Certified Lean Coach Program that is only for very few people, for elite uh, top uh, audience uh, who really want to become trainers, consultants, and coaches. So, so if you see the Master Black Belt, it's the highest certification achievable in Six Sigma. Within a business organization, Master Black Belts manage the Black Belts and Green Belts. They are all top quality heads in the organization, consult on uh, difficult project concerns, offer advice and education uh, on the challenging statistical concepts, train others in Six Sigma methodologies. So this is uh, on the master black belt. All right, so if you found today's session interesting, valuable, useful, fantastic, awesome, whatever that you felt, please put it in the chat box.